Welcome to Math 152. Uh, my name is Chuck Devaggi. I'm your instructor for this quarter for Calculus 2. So I'm excited to get uh, working with you. I just want to do a quick breakdown kind of introduction to uh, WAMAP and to the course the way that I have it structured. Um, so I enjoy using WAMAP. I, I feel like it's a robust program. Uh, I, allow, I like that we can um, type math in it. I like that we can do uh, quizzes and tests pretty easily on it. So we'll let's jump on in. Um, as you know, uh, there's a couple weeks. I'll try to um, release weeks early so you can get a little head start on stuff if you want to uh, if you want to work ahead and get stuff done beforehand. Uh, so here's some pieces and announcements. You've probably already looked at uh, this first announcement because you're watching this video. Uh, you found it. Uh, I'll post at least uh, an announcement at least at the start of the week, maybe maybe more. Check weekly for sure. Um, and just talk about what the week's like, that sort of thing. So the course is laid out by weeks. I have the course laid out. If I look at the instructor view, you can see I have it through week 12. Um, I'm going to be adding content as we go through, but it, I'll add it before it's released, before the weeks are released for you. So each week has a couple pieces in it. You've probably already looked at week one because you're watching this video right now. Um, so sometimes there'll be an announcement in here as well. Uh, these parts right here, these are sections out of the book. So, for example, 4.10 in back in volume one. Here's the lecture for it. You can click on it and listen to more of my voice. Um, and then also there's problem set that I want you to do out of each section. So each week we'll have that. And then each week we'll also have a quizzes and forums uh, section. This is a practice quiz. Uh, this is a weekly forum. And that happens for each week. If I look at week two, I've got some lectures going on. And then I also have um, quizzes and forums in here. So let's take a look at the syllabus. So I'm going to look in resources. Uh, there's a couple things in here. A printable class calendar, which I strongly, strongly recommend that you print out because it shows everything on it, as well as the syllabus. I'm going to bring up the syllabus. We'll talk about it. So uh, most of this I'm just going to let you read at your leisure. Whoa. We do use uh, an open source textbook, uh, so you shouldn't have to buy it unless you want a printed value, uh, printed uh, version of it. And here's a link to it. There's also a link back in the, back in here where it says uh, textbook. Outcomes, uh, what we're using, those sorts of things. Get to a couple pieces. Calendar, this is not a self-paced course. Uh, I, there are specific due dates and uh, it's a bit of work, so if you if you want to leave here understanding uh, the contact for the course, you're gonna you're gonna put in some time on it. Uh, it's extremely important that you don't fall behind. Really seriously, one of the things I almost always hear um, at the end of the year, at the end of a quarter, when I ask people to reflect, is they're like, "I wish I'd worked ahead. I wish I'd planned my time better." Um, it's almost like I, I can just predict that easily half the people are gonna say that. Uh, grading scale, here's the way the grades are weighted. The final is 25%. Exam 2 is 20%. Exam 3, this should be exam 1 and exam 2. Um, time quizzes are 15%. Practice quizzes and forms are 20%. Uh, there's homework assignments. Those are not graded. Those are your practice, but it is good to do that practice. I'll ask um, often questions about the homework in the forums as well. Uh, so the exams in the final together, 65% of your grade. These are timed tests. Uh, you get a two-hour sitting on that test day from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So you click start anytime during the day on the test, and you get two hours to complete it. Um, I also really strongly recommend you submit scratch work to me after completing the exam. Uh, that allows me just to see if there was just like, just changed a number. I can give you partial credit if you do that. It will really help. Uh, I can't hurt your grade. Practice quizzes and forms together 20% of the grade. Uh, practice quizzes are not timed. Uh, there, are there are questions just like the homework that we've been doing. You get four attempts on each, on each question on it, and you can just work on it as long as it'll take. Uh, they're due by 1159 other due dates. Uh, forums as well. Uh, on the forums, you'll be asked a question. Um, read the instructions carefully. Address the prompt. And then you're going to need to reply to at least one other person's um, post as well. Time quizzes as a category 15% of your grade. 
You get two hours to complete them. That should be more time than you need. You also get three three tries on each question. Um, they're consecutive time again. So once you click start, you have two hours to finish it. And the time quizzes are a lot like the practice quizzes. The practice quizzes are literally practiced for the time quizzes. Uh, and important thing, if you feel like you've been shortchanged on a question, cheated from the auto grader, I go through and check, but um, just send me a, a message and let me know if you have a question about it. Also, uh, round to three decimal places if it, you don't get other directions. That's just a good rule of thumb. This class ends at the final. So the final is it. That's why it's called the final. Um, all work must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. the day before the final exam. Um, if someone sends me a message saying I didn't realize that, I'm not, I'm sorry that like you've been informed. Uh, no submissions of any kind will be accepted after this hard deadline. Six late passes are granted to each student. You get a late pass. Uh, you can use them to extend the due date on practice or time quizzes. You cannot use them on forums. Um, and there's a, there's a place where it shows you how to use late passes if you're not sure how to do that. All right, and then there's a lot of other things that you can uh, take your own time to take a peek at. So I'm going to now look at the printable class calendar. Did I say it was printable? You should be able to print this thing. I have the class completely paced out. So if you'll take a look at this. You can see that on January 3rd, uh, the week one forum is due. So you should be answering that form there. And the practice quiz zero is due. Uh, so things that are italicized, those are things that are actually due. Uh, the other pieces, like 4.1, this is the a chapter that, that you should watch the lecture on. Read the chapter and do the practice for. So on January 11th, if you're on time, if you're just like right there at the deadline, you're looking at 1.2 part three, section 1.2 part three. And again, that just shows up, let's see, week 1.2 part 3 right there. You're watching that video and doing those problems. Here's exam 1. Here's exam 2. Here's the final. And then uh, that's it. I have a couple of just study days in here. They're tucked in as well. I really, really strongly recommend that you just print this out and um, use it. They just print it out, post it somewhere, use it so you know what's due when. There should be no surprises for you. I have been adding things. There's a, a calendar in WAMAP, but it's not great. I have been adding things into it, but I wouldn't rely on this. I'd really go with the, uh, with the printed version uh, of the class calendar that you have printed out. You're probably just pausing the video and doing that right now. All right. Um, this class is, it's, it's Calc 2, it's, it's a good amount of work. Uh, I'm here to help you out. My job is to make sure that you know uh, what you need to know in order to be successful in this course, have the stuff for the next course that you wanna take. That's my job, I'm here to help you. So please message me with questions. Um, if you go to message me, uh, use this messages in WAMAP. This is again, like one of the things I really love about WAMAP, you could, uh, do one thing real quick just so I have access to messages so if I want to just send a new message um, you choose who it is oh there's one person in class um, blah 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 and then you can type whatever you want but what's great is you can type math in WAMAP and you've probably already done something like this before if I want to type something like um, 5x squared plus 7 divided by square root of y, notice we can communicate with each other really easily by being able to type out the math. That's, that's a really powerful thing that we have with WAMAP. All right, uh, hopefully you feel like you're, we're at a good place where you can get started. Um, I'm here to help. Send me any messages that you have any questions, and I'm looking forward to, to working with you. Welcome to class.